and hello again and here we are for the next video about my attempts to buy some retro style bike gear that more closely matches the style of my new Nord Commander 961 which looks old and my old and it looks old Norley along with my older 70s Kawasaki's behind me and my other old bikes so in this video we'll cover buying a pair of leather trousers stroke leather pants so what I'm trying to find is a really good high quality pair of jeans or pants which are AAA rated, CE rated but I don't want to have any big logos on them and I also don't want to have any knee sliders I don't need knee sliders as a road bike anymore so they are out and you would think that's quite an easy thing to find but it turns out it's not and so I started my search by going to my local Janus Accessories shop which is huge and I tried on some sort of retro style pants from let's see from Furigan and also from Dainese but I couldn't find anything that fitted me right particularly the Dainese seemed to have really weird sizing so they were out next I went on the internet like most people do and had a look at YouTube videos and reviews and so on and I found a couple of options that seemed to fit the bill but they had two problems first of all they were bloody expensive and second of all there's no local places that sell these particular brands they only seem to be sold by some sort of high-end trendy places in London like Urban Rider and Motor Legends and I wasn't prepared to go all the way down to London just to try on a pair of leather trousers now I could buy them of course and get them sent here try them on if they don't fit send them back but that's quite a lot of hassle it's also a problem because these things are very expensive and I didn't actually think they were worth quite the money so I sort of let it lie for a while and then a few weeks ago I was bored one day and I decided to look at a particular brand that seemed to fit the bill and rather than looking at the UK sites, the UK shops I went direct to the source to their particular website and looking through them, yeah, all looks pretty good and I found a particular pair that I really like but then I noticed that on this website they have a sort of for sale page so I clicked on that and as expected they got all the odd sizes that nobody wants like XXXXL or XXXXS all the stuff they can't sell but right at the bottom of the page was lo and behold the pair of leather jeans that I was looking at so I clicked on it not expecting to see much and sure enough they had one pair left for sale and by pure fluke it's my size I thought blooming heck so I clicked on it double quick and bought them and they arrived this morning so what did I buy well what I bought is in here and as you can see it's from a place called Pandamoto now Pandamoto are from Vilnius in Lithuania of all places and it uh, arrived no problem it arrived in a few uh, days and it only cost seven pounds DHL delivery so I'm pretty happy with that so let's get this box open and see what I bought and so in the box we have this bag with a panda logo on it I'm sure it'll come in handy for something in here we've got some paperwork got a receipt some information a little sticker for some reason uh, yeah so these jeans have, have um, D3 ghost armour in them which is why they're AAA rated a little thank you note that's fine and some more bump anyway let's get these out and see what they're like dun, dun, dun. right okay hopefully you can see it's okay and uh, as you can see they are pretty old-fashioned looking which is what I wanted so they've got no logos no obvious body armor and no knee sliders which is what I wanted they are sort of pair of jeans because they've got a belt loops here got pockets at the front which are zipped as you can see oh, quite deep pockets um, what else can we say about them they're lined pretty cool looking purple liner and I believe the leather is 1.2 mil thick which is pretty much average for how thick a leather jacket might be so they're sort of about right really they're not too thick and not too thin which I'm pretty happy about so they got the uh, the D3 ghost armor here on the hip and also on the knee in fact they do feel very soft I've not actually used D3 before I've, I've had knocks before but uh, yeah it actually feels like it's almost not there it's also got um, some expandable area here sort of stretch a little bit and at the back on your car you've got this area here 
which is for venting if it gets really hot of course you can sort of use them for venting now i will tend to wear these with knee length boots so these will go inside the boots so that's not going to be very helpful to me but you know it's always there just in case so pretty happy with them so far now the question is will they fit me right well the good news is they do fit me which is a relief in fact if anything they're a bit baggy particularly around the knees perhaps that's because they've got the body armor in there you know that sort of bulks it out a little bit it's also a bit baggy here as well i don't think i really need these uh, stretch panels but you can't have everything at least they fit me here now here we go avoid the microphone so yeah they feel okay you know a bit baggy here as i say but you can't have everything um, now in time of course it is leather so they will give a little bit here and there and hopefully it'll be uh feel like a second skin after a few months of riding but yeah i'm pretty happy with that um you know there's no stress on my knees there's enough room there so that's great and unlike the motorcycle jeans i recently bought the denim ones at least with these the body armor won't, won't move around i found with the jeans i've bought maybe it's me i mean I only bought them because they fit me but you can't alter the position of the armor on the knee um particularly as you get off the bike and get on the bike the the body armor on the knee sort of moves around a bit drops a little bit and i'm not sure that in a crash that body armor wouldn't just move and spin over and not really do very much whereas with these it does feel like they're very secure you know it's not going to move it can't go anywhere just in case you fall off so yeah i'm pretty happy with these jeans now i did mention i got them in a sale and from the shops I think last year these were 329 quid from the likes of Urban Rider, which I thought was too much, so I didn't buy them. And I think now they may even be even more expensive. So I got these at less than 200 direct from uh, Pandemoto over there in Vilnius. And the good news is it only cost seven pounds to get them DHL'd to me from Europe, which I thought was quite good. So uh, overall, these cost me 207 quid, which I think is a fair price because they seem really well made to got this uh, D30 Ghost armor in them. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. As I say, they are a little bit baggy, I think. If I do that, you can see how baggy they are. Right, so overall, I'm pretty happy with these and they'll certainly do for a few years, I think. So next, and probably the last video I'll make on this short series about buying retro gear, is I need some new boots because these are held together with gaffer tape. But I also want to buy a pair of sort of semi-off-road, completely waterproof boots, a bit higher than these, and certainly a bit safer. So that's it for now. And so thanks for watching and cheers.